Let's raise up your hands with everyone. Father, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. The humanism. If there is something that God wants to do, is to remove humanism. It was so simple, actually, with all those calamities to deliver the people of Israel out of Egypt. It was so simple to take them out of Egypt. But it was so difficult to take Egypt out of them. Oh, you didn't hear me. It was so simple to deliver the people of Israel out of Egypt. It was so difficult to deliver the people of Israel from Egypt out of their mind. So though they were out of Egypt, but they, they needed another deliverance to remove what? Egypt from their mind. Taking them out of Egypt was simple, but taking Egypt out of them was so difficult that they were even walking and saying, Moses, can you stop a little bit? Moses stopped and said, we, I, I, we, miss, we miss onion in Egypt. Moses would be like, you guys, you just ate manna, roasted chicken, roasted meat from heaven falling and they just ate. They said, but me, I miss watermelon. Ish. I'm having cravings. <laughs> it was so difficult to deliver them out. To remove Egypt out of them. It was so simple for me to deliver you out of the world. But it's so difficult to, to, to remove the world out of you. You didn't hear me. It's so difficult. You still look at it. Like, ah, you look at the things, how they're happening around you. You'll be like, ah, what's, what's going on? What's going to happen to me? What, what's, what, what's happening? I was saying somewhere. I was saying. You know, you know, because you are, you, are, you are human and you're not set free from humanism. You always think things are not moving well and you begin to judge yourself. Because you're so human, you're so much in the flesh. You judge yourself by what you are facing. Not what God is saying. So I was saying... God has never used opportunities to put people on top. God has always used challenges. 